Dear friends, greetings in the name of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. I am Koberson Langhu, Church History Professor in the Theology Department at Spicer Adventist University. And it is my pleasant task to give you a brief introduction into the Sabbath School lesson for this quarter. This quarter we are studying the books of Ezra and Nehemiah, which are considered to be one book because they focus on the same themes, similar themes, and the rebuilding of Jerusalem. It was prophet Jeremiah who foretold that the people of Judah would go into a foreign captivity in the land of Babylon for 70 years because of the multitude of their sins. However, prophet Daniel joins Jeremiah in prophesizing that this captivity would one day come to an end and the people of Judah would be allowed to return to their homeland and to rebuild their city and their temple. The people of Judah had been taken as captives to Babylon in three waves within the span of 20 years. The first wave in 605 BC, the second in 597 BC, and the third in 586 BC. In all these three exiles, Nebuchadnezzar was the king of Babylon. In total, less than 5,000 people had been taken to Babylon, excluding their wives and children. Just as the people were taken to Babylon in three waves, they also returned to Jerusalem in three waves. The first wave of the exile returning to Jerusalem occurred in 537 BC about 50,000 of them returned with Zerubbabel. The second wave occurred in 487 BC, where about 5,000 to 6,000 people returned with Ezra. And in the third wave, which occurred in 444 BC, a small group of people returned to Jerusalem with Nehemiah. So about less than 60,000 people returned home after the 70 years captivity, which signifies a great increase in population of the people in Babylon. Jerubabel began the rebuilding of the Temple of Jerusalem and eventually it was completed. Ezra carried out reforms in the religious fairs, administrative, Particularly, he was very much interested in leading the people to a diligent study of the scriptures. And Nehemiah comes along and carries out the rebuilding of the walls of Jerusalem. So these three individuals helped to rebuild Jerusalem, the city and the temple. The lesson is that while we engage in this work of reforms and reformation, we will face many obstacles and oppositions. And our Sabbath school lessons give us this warning, says, even friends may openly or secretly oppose us and perhaps become our enemies. But we can be assured of victory because if God is on our side, who can be against us? Dear friends, join us throughout this quarter as we study together the books of Ezra and Nehemiah, wonderful books. We will find hope and comfort in these books. 3ACM, a media ministry set up by our own theology students of Spicer Adventist University, will use all means possible to put up a short video presentation of the lesson every day. And we want you to join us every single day throughout this quarter. May God's richest blessing be yours today and always.